someone figure out how he can fine tune Lama 3 on a free tier Google Collab. And I wanted to share this with you today. Hello and welcome. My name is Hussam Adin, or simply you can call me Sam. What is Lama 3? Lama 3 is the new version from Meta AI open source model. Right now, it's number six in the ranking of Arena Leaderboard. And actually, this is a very good model because a few weeks ago, before the release of Lama 3, we saw that Mistral, a large and Mistral 87B, is the new king of open source. But it seemed Lama 3 is the current new king of open source models. And you can test it out in a few different places. For example, like the shared arena itself, like I asked it to continue the Fibonacci sequence, and it did that. And if you have access to the Meta AI Assistant from Facebook, you can actually use it there, but it's not available in my country. And also it's available inside Grok. If you have access to Grok, you can use it there. Lama 3 has right now two different versions of it, the 8B and the 7B and the instruct version of them. The 8B model have 8 billion parameters. Well, the 7B model have 70 billion parameters. And both the instructor are fine-tuned better to flow more human direction. This means it's better with natural language processing. And actually, they're right now working on the 400 billion parameter version from Lama 3. And this is really cool. Honestly, 400 billion parameter. That's a lot. Lama 3 will train over 15 trillion tokens. 15 trillions. That's amazing. It's over all data set was seven times larger than the used in the train Lama 2. So it's seven times larger in terms of training from the last version, which Lama 2. Some of the data comes from publicly available sources like Common Crawl, basically like web crawling or web scribbing. And I made a tutorial about that. You can watch it over here. According to the AI meta benchmark or the performance of the Lama 3, the B version is beating both Gamma and Mr. L7B. Okay, that's like believable because Gamma is already not that good. And Mr. L7B is a 7B instruct. It's not the 8 7B model, so I cannot get that. And in terms of the 7B model itself is almost better than the Gemini Pro 1.5 in some area. And Sonata, I'm not going to talk about Sonata because... Claudia Obis is far better than I think these two models. So how we can fine tune Lama 3 for free on Google Collab? Using something called Onslaught. Onslaught is a packages that I found that have the ability to fine tune all of model for free. As you can see, Lama 3, that's just brand new. I think it's like just fix a bug will fine tune in it. The Lama 3, Mr. L7B, the Gamma, Robo, Zephyr, and Felicity from Microsoft, and Tiny Lama. And I already made a video about Tiny Lama and Lama 2. You can check it out over here. And this is how we're gonna fine tune it. Actually, this code is written by them. It's not by me. My own code is over here, but it's basically the same code. So we're gonna take a look to the code itself of the Onslaught library. So they, of course, uninstall Onslaught and the Using the free libraries from Magenface that we used also in the last two fine tune model, TRL, BFT, Accurate, and Bits and Bytes have different kind of model. The Mistral, the Mr. 7B Instruct, the Lama 2, the Gamma variations, and finally the Lama 3, which is our. A. So we're starting with the first thing, setting the model and tokenizer. We give it the model name from the Anslas, which is in Magenface actually over here. You can Come here and get it and talk to it if you want to. And max token links is already said over here. And the D type, the data type is none. And loading for bit is true. I mean, like you can put this stuff over here, but like this is already written code. You can load out and try to use it yourself. And here we're setting LoRa, which stands for Low Ranking Adaptation. We use it in every fine tune model. It's a method of how we can train the model without fine tune the original model. Basically, we freeze the data inside it and add on top of it. And here we're setting the parameters. This is already set by the Anslas itself, right? And here data preparation, they're using a data set called the Albaca Cleaned. From Hagen Face over here, as you can see, this is how it's format. Three column output 
input instructions and here he formatted it like this instruction input response and he bought them all of them under one column called text this is how he format the data set then he started to set the parameter for the supervised training and here he is setting the parameters as you can see the models the tokenizer the data set that we give it the column of the data set the max sequence links which is already set above here the training argument the batch size uh, it's just only two you can i think you can pump up this if you wanted to make it faster the, ma the warm step is five max step 16 and the learning rate you can play with the learning rate a, bit, a little bit if you want to and of course the rest of it is the the optimizer the weight decay and the output directory which the folder will turn out the model be in and after that he's check on the memory of the google collab and i kind of like this code how he's checking on the memory before he started training and he hit the train it say here it took him about like eight minutes when i ran out the, the same code on my own google collab it took me almost the same time so after the training of course we go in to try to use the model itself and uh, but he first check on the memory so he can clean it and try to merge it here but before he start running the model itself he check on the memory once again then there is two ways to can run this model the first one here is using the model generate and give it the tokenizer the uh, giving the input to the model so he can understand what we need and here basically it's asking to continue the Fibonacci sequence and he give it one one two three eight five eight and as you can see here there is the input the format of the prompt and the response of it is 13 21 and it's continue and also you can use text stream from transformer this is hagen face and it will give you the same basically response but honestly this is one have a better format as you can see the instruction the input the response which is far better than this one this one is a bit messy you need to format it and basically extract data from here second step is saving and loading the fine tune model here He's saying to save the final model as LoRa adapter, either use Hagen Face, Push to Hub, or or online save or save pre train for local save. Basically, you have either to save it on Hagen Face on your local machine. And he say here, no, this is only save the LoRa adapter itself, not the full model. To save to 60B or a GGUF, scroll down. So the output of what we trained is saving it named LoRa model and he using it with the original model you can save it here from bush to hagen face actually you need just a token to save it there and if you want to load the lora adapter we just saved it for inference set false to true okay so as you can see here it's telling you what to do and this is how you can run the adaptation of the model with the original model that we have is using onslaught once more past language model this is function how we use it from pre-trained the pre-trained LoRa model he bought the LoRa model that we basically the output folder or the that we saved and he gave it the max links on top the type the loading for byte and using this fast uh, model for inference and <clears throat> ask it what is the famous tall tower in Paris the input is empty and the response is over here the evil tower and give you a few information like how tall is it and where it have been built which year it has been built it's the most visit it's the most visited paid monument in the world with over 7 million visitors annually tower is named after it doesn't continue which is kind of weird but this is really nice and there is also another way using the lora model so we can talk to it but it's a little bit shorter using the hugging face auto model for Bivit casual llm you just give it the LoRa model and the load in 4 bit and you can talk to it using the tokenizer of course or basically the model and finally saving it to a float 16 for vlm or the ggof here in just a few lines you can merge merge the original model that we have with the LoRa that we have and finally you can push it to hug and face basically push to hug face hug and face hub with merge and you have to provide your token over here and there is the 4-bit version of it and just the LoRa adapter version of it without like basically using the 
it or forbid just the LoRa itself. There is also the ability to use the GGF, GGUF conversion. The second part of it is saving it to GGUF. And here it say we support natively now clone, we clone the Lama CCB and we default save it to Q8. And you are also allowing another method. And here how we can do it. Actually, it's simpler also. A false model that save between GUF, the model tokenizer, and we have to boost it to, to hug and face and provide the token and the F16 and the Q4KM. So there is so many options of merging and saving, which is kind of cool, honestly. I'm going to leave the link for the SLOS Google Collab and the GitHub of it on the link of description. And you can go in and find out and try it out yourself and see how it can be beneficial for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And see you in the next video.